as a final example of how to use the the one the, the one the one schema to rule them all or the one model to rule them all let's talk about a sequence okay and so hopefully you're you're beginning to get the hang of how this how this um, whole system works and how it hinges on creating relationships, naming those relationships, putting those relationships in terms, and then referencing those relationships inside of other, uh, it, referencing those terms that define the relationships inside of other terms. So here we have a, um, a simple sequence, and the sequence has three base terms in it. It has aardvark, camel case, and bird brain, and it has one relationship in it. The relationship is called the next relationship. This is the next one in the series. And so I can create three terms, term ID aardvark, term ID camel case, term ID braid, bird brain. I can name those three terms, aardvark, camel case, and braid, bird brain. And I can specify that the, the aardvark, camel case, and bird brain come in a particular sequence by pointing to the next item in the sequence using a relationship. The relationship always has that ref ID of next, saying this, this type of relationship is a next one in the sequence relationship. And its referent goes from uh, aardvark points to camel case, camel case points to bird brain, and bird brain doesn't point to anything. Okay, so which is the first one in the, in the sequence? The first one in the sequence is the one that has a relationship, um, but no one has a relationship to it. Okay, so we can logically find the first one in the sequence. The last one in the sequence is the one that has no relationships, but someone has a relationship to it of the next type. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one. This, this is a simple implementation of a sequence. We've seen sequences, hierarchies, associations. We could easily build an index. For example, you can find all of the, um, you could create a, 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 a relationship that is called um, indexed by and have a bunch of terms that are indexed by and one term can be indexed by other ones. You can find all the terms that are indexed by a certain term, alphabetize them and you'd have an index. So those are some examples of how to use this very sophisticated, very subtle schema to do pretty much whatever we want. We could also have gone into to, um, uh, the relationship type, which says, is an element of. So aardvark has element of genetic name, right? Or excuse me, like so species and, and genera, right? Um, and, uh, and kingdom and phylum, right? Those are all parts of the, um, well, that's maybe not, a good, maybe not a good example. Suppose aardvark has a physical description, right? So we have the physical description reference type and that refers to the physical description of the aardvark. So now instead of building access structures, I'm building the information type itself called the aardvark, and I'm building it from the term aardvark, and then the description of the term aardvark that's related by is a description of relationship, for example.